Welcome to Financial PowerPoints. You know, as we gather together during these times of agreement, we need to be able to have an anchor on what we agree on. And one of the anchor scriptures that I want you to memorize, it comes out of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. That means that this book shall not depart from your mouth. And, and what it's saying is that we have to say what the scripture says. Let's not, let's you and I agree. Let's agree today not to come in agreement with the naysayers and the negative things because see these scriptures were were birthed in times which with much more trouble than what we're going through right now but it goes on to say but you shall meditate in it day and night that you would observe according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success you know there's difference between success and good success and what the scripture is saying here is that that which you seed forth in your mind and in your mouth will bring good success. So let's agree today, you and I, let's stand accountable with each other that the success that we're going to experience is not going to be one from shortcuts, get rich quick, schemes, and panic strategies that are just coming from every angle right now. Let's choose to slow down, let's choose to meditate, and let's choose to be at peace with the God that will not forsake us. And let's make a commitment to the Lord to meditate on the Word, one scripture every night before we go to bed, and one scripture every morning before we leave the house. Let's make an agreement. Can you agree with me here on Financial PowerPoints? One scripture before you go to bed, and you say, oh, that's easy. But watch how you'll forget and, and how difficult it can be. But one scripture. Now, what I would do if I was you, take a yellow post-it, write the scripture out in your own handwriting, and put it on the bed post. And then speak it out of your mouth before you go to bed. And then in the morning when you get up, have another one and put it up on the bed post and speak it out. And see if this two-minute exercise, one minute at night and one minute in the morning, doesn't start to change the way you think and watch success be attracted to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that we would take these simple principles of success that are in the Bible and Holy Spirit come and breathe into these ideas that you're giving us together, that collectively we would be victorious witnesses in this third day for our Lord. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow.